Hi guys, welcome to Amingdon and Whitney Isolation Tape Showcase stream. We're going to be listening to some guys um, doing music tech, Amingdon and Whitney, from both of the years. Um, so yeah, let's let's get started. So first we've got Sophie. Um, what have you been listening to in like during this quarantine period? Because it's a good a good time to explore different things. Yeah, so I've been listening to a lot of um, 70s music, music I really enjoy, um, like Elton John, um, and also new and up-and-coming artists. There's a band called Days and Betsy Gold that I really enjoy. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, um, so do you take inspiration from these artists? Is that kind of your sound? Yeah, I think I love, like, pop. So the music route I'd like to go down is, like, um, pop and also alternatives, um, there's an artist called Melly Martinez. I love like her inspiration, how she comes up with lyrics. I think that inspires me a lot. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> um, so what are you going to play for us? What's the arrangement? Like what's, what are you doing? Um, so I've got my first unreleased song that I'd co-written with Finn Hustler. Um, it's called Dream Catcher. Um, and yeah. <laughs> cool. That's cool. That it's a, um, it's a collaboration. I'm, I'm actually excited to hear that. Um, yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. So would you, what artists would you recommend from the from the 70s that, that people should listen to? Oh, well, I'm a hardcore like Elton John fan, but also Fleetwood Mac is quite good and Billy Joel. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got to agree. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, cool. Let's, let's uh-huh. go. Let's see it. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's well. I'm Sophie Lee, and this is my first song, Dream Cat, I co written with Finn Hustler. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
conscious day Missing the memories that we made Telling you falling, calling my name Watching you leaving, why won't you stay? Are you here just call out my name? Are you here? Without you it just won't ever be the same So I'll see you in a dream catcher But now that will be the healing plaster Only we Hi, welcome back to the Isolation Tapes. A lovely song, I'm sure you'll all agree. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Harry. So Harry, what have you been listening to during lockdown? Uh, so basically I've been listening to a lot of um, Oliver Heldon's uh, stuff around the Future House genre and a lot of upcoming artists in the Future House, Future Bounce area, which is a form of house music, basically. Has, has that in, uh, influenced a lot of work you've been doing over isolation? Oh, massively, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff that I've got coming up on this stream uh, is unreleased. That is based around the future of the So a lucky audience, then. Um, <laughs> so would you say it's helped, maybe, being in the sort of lockdown situation, maybe got you more focused? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I've done... A lot more production than I've ever done before in this lockdown. Um, it has helped me progress so rapidly. Oh yeah, that's really good. I'm sure that maybe a lot of people are in the same boat, a lot of artists in the area. Oh yeah, massively. Um, I've been talking to other producers left, right and centre who are working on music so much more than they used to be. There's a lot more opportunities at the moment than I've ever seen before. So will any of this music you're playing now be released in the near future? Yeah, yeah. One of them's being released in about two days. <laughs> oh, that's a 
That's brilliant. All right, so should we get to playing some of your music? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Thank you. 
Hi guys, um, we're back. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed that mix. A nice sort of mixture of, like I personally enjoy house. Um, I think it's a vibe. Um, so yeah, next up we've got Finn. Wait, yeah, I believe it's Finn. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, sorry man. Um, <laughs> so yeah, how have you been during quarantine? What have you been up to? Yeah, um, no, I'm good. Uh, I've been, you know, yeah, making music like everyone else, I think. Uh, I use the best time to, I don't know, I use the best time to contact your audience, really, to, to bring them in because, you know, everyone's sat at home doing nothing. So I released a song uh, a few weeks into lockdown and then uh, I'm currently working on another one now. Oh, that's great, man. Um yeah i agree like it's such a this is these are unprecedented times and uh you can really use this time to do something like interesting yeah um, so what are your influences like what do you um, who do you like what you've been sort of listening to well 
my like uh i wouldn't i don't know if i call them influences uh because i don't know if my music you know shows elements of their music but i'm really into like uh loyal Carner and tom mish the kind of like old school brought new uh loyal khan is a an english hip-hop rapper but he um yeah, I think he's an interesting guy, and you know, he's got like a cooking school and stuff. I've been lis- listening to a lot of podcasts from him and stuff. So yeah, yeah, Lil Khan is great. Um, yeah, like yeah, I agree, bro. Um, I think it's great to see kind of hip hop coming out of the UK. It's like it's almost like it's like fertile ground for new oh, experimental yeah, yeah, things yeah. to happen, uh, yeah, which is yeah. what I'm all about. And did you see like his new Tom Mish's collaboration with? Um, you uh, said days it like yeah yeah it reached no it reached the top five like yeah, it's no. a jazz album oh <laughs> like, that's yeah, so good so like, crazy but like yeah just everything about you know tom mish like the old you know he takes influences from like john mayer and stuff and he's got that really like hard yeah. warm jazz sound yeah yeah man his his technique is insane so um so what are you going to be what are you going to be playing for us today. Um, so I'm uh, today I'm going to be playing a, an original that I've been working on today. Uh, I was originally going to uh, showcase one of my songs, which is currently out, um, but there were some issues with uh, copyright, my, my copyright, you know, allowing it to be played on the streams and stuff. Yeah. So I, I'm going to be showing an unreleased song. Um, if you want to check out the song, it's it's on my my iTunes, and I I'm one half of. The unknown with no O, so on all streaming services. That, but yeah, today I'm going to be playing a song called uh, "Night Towns," which I wrote on the piano. So yeah. Wow, man! Sounds like you're you're doing bits at the moment, and I'm uh, <laughs> I'm really excited to hear this. Um, yeah, great, I actually listened you. to a bit of your your latest track that you uh, that you released during quarantine, and yeah, I really like the vibes. It's a really open, nice, nice sound to it. I like the mix. Yeah, thanks, man. But yeah, yeah, so um, we're going to go to that now and listen to it. Get your nightgown, because these night towns won't wait. Covered in cautions, exterior breaks, all the glass closed with curtains, still quartered by state. Hold me, you're hurting my fragile tape. Your diction is missing, it's harder to hear. But tell me about it some time way next year. Oh, I do care a lot, just this town. I mean it, you're seeming like you're doing great Night now, these night towns Pull me ever closer Night now Night now, these night towns Pull me ever closer Night now Red tape and outlines, this place never waits All this night town is mine now till quarter past eight Notice my heart in the right place Oh, I'm trying, you're crying, I'm not your disgrace I spoke to the man at quarter past ten See, I spoke to the girl and spoke to the men They know this place where all goes away All these night towns where no frowns you live on display Remind me again what they call that place Oh, night now these night towns are calling my name Falling slowly to black, fry me, oh me, lay me next to that. Something like sunshine is lost on the way, black with the morning, but make no mistake. Ever so elegant, falling in space. Night now, these night towns are calling my name. Night now, these night towns pull me ever closer. Welcome back. I'm sure I hope you all enjoyed that. A lovely song by a lovely young man. I'm sure you'll all agree. So next up, we've got Charlie, a.k.a. Chuck Maurice. So Charlie, what are you going to be showing us today? Uh, This is a song I worked on a few months ago called Throwdown, and it's probably the greatest thing I've ever done in my personal opinion. 
well you know it's important to like your own stuff so you know, what, what have you been listening to over this lockdown period uh mostly uh old school hip-hop from the 80s and 90s like uh the beastie boys they're my biggest influence in terms of music and the video making but also you know stuff like easy e and uh even a bit of eminem here and there he's my earliest influence as a rapper so you got, you got to go back to your childhood influences yeah very true so a wide mix then yeah definitely so has that influenced any of the music you've been making in this lockdown yeah definitely uh i've been mostly doing the beastie boy style you know the combination of rock uh rap music and rock music but you know i i've done a bit of eminem stuff here and there too i quite like his disjointed flow the way he raps in between the beats instead of on point yeah it's definitely something that i feel there's a gap in the market for especially in modern uh, hip-hop yeah everyone's been going for the soundcloud style you know with the 808 drum machines and trap influences and i'm i'm more into the old stuff where you've got like sampled beats from funk music and things like that yeah i'm sure it's a very welcome change will there be any influence like that on your track that you're playing for us today yeah definitely and a lot of rock music too you know the guitar is the main instrument of the song so feeling confident yeah definitely all right so should we get into it yeah i'm ready all right this is throwdown MCs. When I get lyrical, they all freeze. Roll down, so you better catch up. Chuck Morris knows what's up. Roll down, right here, right now, in your town. Roll down, now y'all better listen. C to the H to the U C K. Chuck to the Morris is my name, all brain. Wrote this song on a second-hand axe. Turn that treble up to the max. Pointer on the root note, ringer on the fifth. Making heavy metal like a blacksmith. One MC said that I was a phony. Gave him the finger like Tony Iommi. I can play hip hop if I want to. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to. I remember that style from my childhood. Even though I grew up in a mild hood. I played a lot of GTA while my mom was over at the PTA. Now I throw down with the best. Come and throw down, it's a lyrical test. K E N T U C K, where the Y Kentucky is here to slay. I got bank, I got green, I got love for the hip hop scene. Crawling back in with the big fat bass, cause you say you're not done spitting in my face. But that's okay, cause I came prepared. Crank the guitar and you run off scared. They don't listen to the old school rock, only rap music plays on their block. But I enjoy that fusion. That beat gives me contusion. Real heavy like your average cop. Stuffing his face at the donut shop. That jerk is such a clown. Roll down with the fresh MCs. When I get lyrical, they all freeze. Roll down so you better catch up. Chuck Morris knows what's up. Roll down right here, right now, in your town. Roll down now, y'all better listen. MC and fresh producer Got more muscle than a weight room juicer Only in the metaphorical sense Cause my arms are skinny But my posse is immense So I abhor all kinds of violence I like to put on a show And turn the chat into silence That's how I get respect That's how I get money And how I get wet C-H-A-R-L-E-S My name's not Dickens But that's a good guess I got away with words For instance, I say chicks But the Brits say birds Today's MC's got Flows that are messy. Got a fluffy dog named Jesse Wesley. Barking all day in my face. I believe they call that the bass. Rocking the mic with only drums behind me. Y'all better get ready for the old school styly. Funky beats with funky bass. Funky guitar from outer space. Pulsating, never hating, and I'm spitting straight facts. When I'm on the mic, I attack. Y'all ain't even ready for this. I'm focusing and thinking of the perfect diss. And now I'm ready. And I got to say, I've never seen anybody wear a fake nose that way. Wait a minute, 
You say it's legit. I was getting ready to say, yo, you Dr. Boston. Better get that thing checked out. Looking less like a nose and more like a snout. You really are such a clown. Roll down with the fresh MCs. When I get lyrical, they all freeze. Roll down. So you better catch up. Chuck Morris knows what's up. Roll down. Right here, right now, in your town. Roll down. Now y'all better listen. Wow. That was a, a huge sound from um, Chuck Morris there. I've really enjoyed that. If there's one thing I'm a fan of, it's uh, fusion styles, and that is the epitome of that. Sorry? Okay. Wait, have we actually started yet? <laughs> okay, so why... <laughs> Okay. Um, cool. Okay. Um, wait, sorry. What was his stage name again? James Kalashin. Okay. Okay, cool. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Uh, um, but yeah, so we've got James Kalashin. I, I know him as TJ. By night, he's James Kalashin. <laughs> um, so yeah, I know TJ, James Kalashin is uh really into kind of trap lyrical trap um and i'm personally also a connoisseur of that style um so yeah tell us a bit about that well about trap in general or or what yeah trap man just what you're into like the stuff you've been listening oh, to that's, that's trap related well i it just has a a uh, interesting percussion more than like some genres do there's like heavy 808s and kicks and uh, interesting hi-hat patterns it just gives it a, a sense of flair that other genres just don't have yeah yeah the rhythm section in in trap is is quite different it's like a it's a really big sound i, re I really like it so um yeah What's the arrangement um, of your of your performance? Like, what what are you doing for us? Uh, today it's uh, three lo-fi tracks that I'm going to be putting on my EP that will be coming out soon. One of them is an exclusive song that will only be played here and won't be played. It won't be included in the album. Oh, cool! So we get a sneak peek. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. So. Let's listen to it, man. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, a lovely chill selection of songs, hopefully helping everyone get through this lockdown period. Our next act is Blake from Capital City. How are you doing? How's the last few weeks been treating you? I'm very good, thank you. Yeah, how are you? I'm good, thanks. So uh, what kind of music have you been listening to during isolation? Well, um, I've taken this time of isolation to kind of dive into new music. I didn't have very, uh, didn't have a very broad taste or, you know, a broad playlist uh, when I would listen. So I've started listening to some bands from the 80s to try and, you know, look for some inspiration, but also kind of educate myself, especially in, in English music, in, you know, popular culture. So um, some bands like Lloyd Carl and the Commulsions, Blondie and uh, Sisters of Mercy, are some, some of my favourites so far. Have they had any influence on the music you'll be playing for us today? Um, I would say so, yes. I think they will be even more in, uh, in music I'll write in the future. As I've, you know, as the song that I'm showing today was written before I kind of started listening to this kind of new style of music. But um, it's definitely something that I've tried to replicate vocally. I think I've taken a lot of characteristics from, um, from the bands I've started listening to when I was doing these vocal recordings in the past couple of days. Do you think this isolation sort of helped you with your creative process? Uh, I would say so, yes, because, you know, having to stay at home most of the time, it does kind of force you into looking for amusement and, you know, uh, getting kind of some sort of job satisfaction that I can't get without actually, you know, going to work. So I think getting my music done has definitely been something that's kept me sane throughout the weeks. Yeah, it's good to hear. I'm sure it's the same for a lot of people sort of aspiring to be in the um, music industry. So have you had a lot more chance to like collaborate with other local artists? Um, I'd say yes and no. Uh, I did. I do regular meet, regularly meet with another musician um, and play, play live and practice and write, uh, which obviously we haven't been able to do. But it has meant that I have tried, you know, to get instruments and sounds from elsewhere. So uh, and that sort of stuff has involved, you know, sending, you know, clips of bass recordings and that from, you know, different musicians. So it has. Yeah, it has helped in a few ways. Yeah, I'm sure. So these songs you're playing for us today, what what are they about? Um, this song that is about kind of any kind of reservation that I might have or kind of fear that might develop out of any situation, um, how you know, how I try, especially to kind of, to, to you know, to face that and uh, be aware of it, but not give in to any kind of sort of fear I might have about, you know, anything in general. Yeah, very, very powerful message. So are we ready to play it? You ready to hear your song on the air? Yes, looking forward to it. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
Hey guys, so we're back again. This time, me and Jay are gonna gonna wrap it up. Um, yeah, that was a great a great showcase of what people have been doing over this period and like what people have been working towards. It's quite inspiring, and and I'm glad to have been a part of it. What do you think, Jay? Yeah, definitely. I think there's a lot of promise in all these acts that uh, we've shown today. I think there's definitely yeah good good variety. I think it just shows that. No matter the circumstances of sort of what we're facing, the uh, you know music's still going to be a big factor in people's lives. Yeah, man. Yeah, and you know music is important in these times, especially like it's important to be creating um, to feel like you're working towards something greater than the kind of average uh, mundane motions of working life, which you know I don't think are very healthy. Um, I, think I think it's definitely so yeah. helping people get through by listening too. Would you not agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always important to have an audience and and uh, explore performance as a concept. It's quite an interesting thing that we've managed to do here. And I think it substituted the purpose of the Fat Lails gig that we never really got to do. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really glad that it worked out and everything went pretty smoothly. Yeah, it's definitely so nice to be a part of. It's also probably yeah, you know, a nice bit of exposure for the acts. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's going to have to do it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed what we had to show. Uh, the guys work really hard on this, so make sure you check out their socials. I don't have them to hand, but um, they'll, I'm sure um, if, you know, there'll, be, there'll be a way to find that. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I hope you have a good rest of the quarantine. Stay safe, stay indoors, stay happy, stay creative, stay, alert. stay woke. Stay alert, exactly. Stay woke too, very important. Yeah, stay woke. Bye, guys.